Hi guys, this is Drew Brashler. Uh, this is my new Oracle uh, A5500 tube microphone that is a kit. Uh, so it comes with all the components and the microphone and the capsule to build a tube large diaphragm condenser microphone. So I'm going to go ahead and put a, together a series of videos showing you guys the construction um, from beginning to end. So I just showed you guys the uh, unboxing video. Uh, it was kind of boring, but it gave you an idea of what actually comes in this kit. Now to complete this kit, you'll need a couple things. Soldering iron is one. Uh, get a good good soldering iron. A small tip or a medium tip is a good idea. Um, something that's nice and hot. Uh, solder. To solder the components onto the PCB board, of course. Uh, you know, you'll want a few little screwdrivers, flathead, Phillips is always a good idea to have. Uh, you will want a pair of diagonal color cutters and a multimeter. Uh, you can go buy a cheapo one or get a nicer one. Mine's an N uh, x -Tech, um, just a normal multimeter. That's to pretty much, um, you know, verify uh, continuity between things, making sure that uh, voltages are correct later, and also testing the uh, impedance of resistors before installing them. Because that's, uh, that's one thing that can get some people with the color coding system. It's always good to verify all of the resistors before you mount them. So this is the microphone itself. Uh, it has a, a polished uh, top up here, uh, then brass, uh, and a brass retaining ring down here, and then your 7-pin XLR uh, is right here. So to open this up, we'll go ahead and start un by twisting this bottom part. And then this will come off. So this is a really nice, uh, really nice thing. It's uh, nice and machined. Uh, threads feel very good. Uh, the threads are threaded onto the XLR connector. And there's a uh, screw right here for pulling this connector out. But the XLR connector, as you will see in a second, is already wired. Now, um, the brass body will just come straight off. Just pulls right off like that. And you'll notice that there's this little notch cut out right here, and there's also a notch right here. So those two things fit together. Okay, so I'm gonna, so this is the body of the microphone. I am going to end up uh, painting this and probably polishing this little lip right here, keeping this up here, this nice polished uh, bronze uh, or brass color, uh, and then painting this and probably this and maybe doing a little bit of accent down here. Uh, don't quite know what I'm going to do yet, but we will figure that out later. So this is the PCB board uh, of the microphone. I uh, haven't decided if I'm going to leave this in here for while I uh, do all of my soldering or if I'm going to be taking it out, but it's held in by four small Phillips screws, which we can take a small Phillips screwdriver and go ahead and take that out. Uh, we move on to the top, up near the capsule. We see two wires coming out of here, a blue and a red, and on this side, a red. And those are the three wires coming from the capsule. The capsule's already mounted inside here. And let me grab a flashlight so you guys can see. You can see that the large diaphragm condenser capsule is already mounted inside. Moving on, we have the PCB board uh, right here. This is the back side. This is the front side. And we have our seven wires from the XLR connector coming up through the body, ready to wire in. So basically, the next uh, portion of the videos are going to be me installing components in this, uh, kind of one by one. Uh, I'm not going to give a full rundown of where components are going to be going because they're all labeled here. There's also a schematic uh, that you receive when you purchase the kit and basically you just need a, a general sense of being able to read that, figure out the component values, and place them where they need to go. Uh, also verifying if there's a polarized capacitor, which side is negative, which side is positive, and I will show you guys some of those important things uh, later on. So. Here is the A55 or A5500 from Oracle, and it's going to be a nice tube microphone. Now, my components that I'm choosing are a little bit different than the ones that are uh, coming with this kit, just kind of improving on some of the components. Uh, the capacitors that are included in this are not audio quality, so I went ahead and upgraded some of those things. So, keep, in, uh, keep watching for the rest of my videos. Thank you.